Yo, yo, welcome to my survival world. My name is Sam and this is episode 3 of my survival let's play. And in today's episode we have a lot to do. First things first, I want to build a greenhouse on top of this hill here for my upcoming bee guide. Then I want to travel to the nether and get some ingredients for potions to help me in future adventures. Then I also... Whoa, whoa, guys, can you take it in the beehive or at least save it for the bee guide? Whew, sorry about that. Then I also want to kill a pillager captain to start a raid so I can get some totems of undying. But first, you're probably wondering where this farm came from. So let me show you. First, I started by setting up a mountain mine under the base. Then I built a tiered platform for the farms. Then I connected the platform and the mine to the house with a catwalk system. Finally, I planted a bunch of crops in the farm. All right, I am at the mountain peak where I'm gonna build my greenhouse. That's gonna double as the bee sanctuary for the bee guide. First, I just need to level this out a little bit and then we're gonna put the foundation down. But let's get started. All right, update time. I got the foundation down and I got all the dirt there where our plants are gonna go and got some grass spreading as you can see and it's snowing. But this will be protected with a roof very soon. I'm gonna get the uh, framing up now. Let's go ahead and do that. Time for another update. As you can see, we have the greenhouse all framed up with the walls and roof. Next, we gotta put the glass in, so let's get to it. So I'm almost done putting in the glass, but I wanna see how the panes look compared to the blocks. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that looks good on the sides. I can only do it on the sides, but I think it'll add a little more depth to the build, so we're definitely gonna do that. All right, time for another another update. We got all our glass in, we got a goat roommate again. Always coming to visit us, love him. But now it's time to put the roof on, and then we're almost finished. Let's do it. And voila, we have a roof on our greenhouse, and I think it's looking really good. We got some colors going on. Now we just need to decorate in here, but before that, I wanna build a catwalk connecting this greenhouse to the main base here. And boom, we now have a nice catwalk. Look at this. Now everything is connected. Now we can finally go ahead and decorate the bee's new home. All right, all right, what do you guys think? I got it decorated. I think it turned out pretty good. I think the bees are gonna like it. Um, this might not be the final version you see in the guide, but, eh, but it might be. I, I really do like it. But how it works, you know, you come in here, you got your working area where you can store your honey and your tools and stuff. And you got some trees for the bees and you can follow this path over here. And then we got a little pond where we're going to add some fish or maybe some other aquatic animals. But let's go get the bees and see how they like their new home. Oh my god. Look at them. They love it. They love it! This is awesome! Oh my god, look at all these fuzzy butts! We are gonna have so much wax, so many honeycombs, so many candles. I cannot wait to make this guide, I hope you guys like it. Before we go on our nether adventure, I wanted to give you a little update on the base. There's been uh, quite some time that's passed between when I filmed the greenhouse bit and now. Uh, I did the age-old Minecraft YouTuber stereotype and I did some off-camera building. So let me show you what I've been working on. First thing I want to show you is the new bee sanctuary. Not that I don't like the greenhouse. I love the greenhouse. I just didn't feel like it was enough to carry the whole bee guide. So I added this. I have a little footage of what this looked like when I started. I'll show it on screen now. But this is what it looks like now. My idea was to make like a giant honeycomb with its own little ecosystem in it with like trees busting out and everything. I did get an idea um, off of Reddit of another user. He posted his own bee sanctuary and I thought it was really cool. So I kind of did my own idea of that. We got some honey leaking out and there's some honey um, on the top that drips down. I put a lot of detail into this. I thought it turned out really cool. And then we got honey windows with lights behind them. We got a little setup here for some learning with some candles, custom carpeting. Um, and then I want to show you this too. If you go through this door, this is like one of the few unfinished things I have in the world. If you go in here, this is where the bees actually fly out. 
there's a lot of bees that live down here. I didn't have room to put all the hives up there and make them look nice, so I hit them down here. So you'll see tons of bees flying from behind the tree. It's kind of cool. I also changed this last little platform up. Instead of just having some trees here with beehives, I switched it so I could have some farm animals up here because I was needing some wool and some leather. So I added this little area, some little uh, sheds for them, I guess you could say. And then I changed this up a little bit just so there was flowers at the end and, uh, what do they call these things? I just made a whole dang bee guy and I already forgot their names. Not beehive. No, no, this is the beehive. The other one's the bee nest. But then the bees fly over to get the pollen and then when their butts have the pollen on it, they sprinkle it on the flower, or the flowers, the crops and they make them grow fla flaster. Flaster? Really? Just, this is, this is what I go through every day. But yeah, they grow faster and then yeah, this is a really efficient way to have crops actually if you're looking to get them fast. Then I also added this little platform down here, made it a little nicer, put the nether portal over here. We got some doggies. And then I got this new horse because there was vines coming down and all the horses escaped and it was really sad. But now I have this horse and I think I'm gonna name him Cookie. What do you guys think of that name? Cookie's a good name, right? Also up here, this is where I put the honey elevator so we could get down to the ground level. Let me show you how this works. When you're going down, you just simply drop down. Bloop. And then when you, when you go when you want to go up, you just jump on it like bloop, and then it shoots you up. I'm not pressing anything right now. It just fires you right up. Um, it's actually pretty fast. And I put a trap door on the top because you, you can't get out when you make it decorative. Like, uh, so you got to put a trap door so you can get down. But I want to show you something that's down here too. Can I can I walk, please? Thank you. Go down this hallway here. All right. And then we got a big project going down here. You see this grid. We actually are going to um, fill this all in and raise the ground up to 104 here. Uh, I'm going to be working that on the side off, off camera, obviously. But this is where I think I'm going to put like a little village going on here. But don't hold me to it, but hold me to it because, yeah, we're going to put a village down here. I think it's going to be really awesome. But, yeah, that's all the updates for the base. Now we can continue on to the nether. All right, now it's time for our nether adventure. Just a quick in and out. I just need some potion ingredients like magma creams and blaze rods, so let's get to it. Oh well, we have our first victim. Come here, big boy. Oh yeah. Take a little smack smack. Take a little, oh! Oh, he almost pounded me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're getting a little wild. They're getting a little wild. Settle down, settle down. Down, boys, down. All right, let's go find some more. What's this feller doing? Is he just taking a lava bath? Well, we're going to take his tears so we can make a potion of rejuvenation here. What? What? Uh. There we go. Oh, one shot. I don't know what was happening with those first ones, though. Did my gas tier get burnt up? I'm a dummy. How do you think about that? Woo -wee. We've gone so far we ran out of torches. I've been leaving dirt blocks to find our path. Wait a minute. Is Oh, we got a bastion. Oh my god, this is not good. This is very dangerous. Well, we gotta take a look. We gotta see if there's pick step in there. We have to. <laughs> hey! Put that down, sir! Alright, let's see what's inside. Ooh, one of those lodestones. That makes it so we can set like a spawn point on a compass and it'll guide us back and a gold block. We like that. Let's throw some of this trash away and get that. So, when you see these little uh, pig oinker blocks here, they say if you break them, you'll find gold behind it. Look at that. I'm going to collect some of these gold blocks for future builds. Oh, I love the lag. Wait a minute. Is that Enderman carrying one of my dirt blocks? Hey, sir. Those, those are my, uh, my pathway back. What are you doing, sir? Put that down, sir. All right, it wasn't the most interesting bastion, but at least we got a lodestone for our base. That's pretty cool. Let's go explore. Let's see if we can go find a nether fortress now. 
Oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> Another fortress. Let's get down there and get some blaze rods. Almost hit that piggy. That would have been bad. These lag arrows are too much. Oh, oh, oh. Slow it down there, big and tall. Ow, he hit me. Come on, lag. Come on. I just gotta keep swinging. Hope for the best. Drop me a skull, why don't you? Oh, we got some stuff though. Oh, Piggy, I thought you were about to start a fight. We got a couple big and talls here. Let's see if we can get a skull. Oh my god, first one. Now that was a successful trip to the nether. We got a ton of goodies, but I got some good news and I got some bad news. Um, well, yeah, yeah, let's start with the good news. So look at all the goodies we got. This is the good news. All these ingredients for potions. We even got a skull so we can fight the wither soon. We got a lodestone and look at this. We got pig step. Pig step? Pig step. The rarest disc in the game. Only 5% chance and it's the first disc I got. Which brings me to the bad news. I had the clip of that and it got corrupted somehow. So yeah, I, do, I got the rarest disc in the game, but I have no clip of it, so that's the bad news. So I'll have to get another clip later and find it again for that, the new music disc guide, but whatever. I also want to show you guys what I've done with the bedroom. I kind of put like a little altered bed frame around the bed, put some candles. I also did a version of this with some white quartz to make it look like some tusks. Let me know in the comments which one you like better. I also added some armor stands here. Don't worry, I'm going to get this guy pants soon. But I kind of wanted to get, start getting inspired for my weapon and armor guide. But what we're going to do next is make a couple potions. And then once we get our potions ready, we are going to go across the mountains and we're going to go fight that pillager tower so we can start a raid. First, you need the nether ward. Found it in the nether fort. Then you need the magma cream. I found it at the murder scene. Then you need that redstone dust. Just go mine it if you must. Now you have your finished potion. So we are done. Get it in a motion. There's the pillager outpost that's been taunting us this entire time. It's finally time to go kill the captain. All right, Cookie, stay in there. Let me handle this. Hopefully they don't start shooting me when I'm super far away here. Let's put some dirt blocks on our bar here. I hear them loading up their crossbows. Come here, fool. There we go. We're off to a good start here. Oh. I hear them. They're angry up there. Where's your captain? Oh, my God. They're lighting me up. Where's your captain? Three down. I guess we need to drink our potion of strength. That would be helpful. What do we got in here? Some carrots and iron. Yay. <laughs> Take the iron. Oh, I still hear him. Maybe that's the captain. Let's look down off the sides here. Oh, there he is. Let's do this. Come here, big boss. There's the captain. And now we have the bad omen effect. What we need to do now is take this over to a village so we can start our raid. All right, we're headed to the village here. Cookie, don't fall in there. Don't keep jumping, jumping, jump, 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 jump. All right, here we are at the village. And there we go, the raid's starting. Let's put Cookie in here. Come, come. Come, come. We'll save our potion of strength for a later wave. Oh, I need to eat, but we're just gonna finish them all. Quickest wave ever. 
Wave number three. I want your saddle, sir. You just gotta keep these guys at a distance and smack them up. Hello? Where are you guys? They must have came from this side. Oh, I hear them. Did they spawn up here in the snow? I got a feeling they're in here. Oh my goodness, I think I found them. Ah! <laughs> Don't you love when they spawn in the mountain? Alright, let's light them up, I guess. Oh man, she's lining me up with that potion. Oh man, she almost got me. Two Oh, that is almost all of them. There's only one left though. Oh, here he is. They were all in here, that's insane. That was wave four, now we got wave five. We got him, we sniped him. He didn't have a chance. Let's get that totem. Oh, my inventory's full. Get the sugar out of here. Oh yeah, let's put it in our hands. Oh, we have the power. Ah! That was kind of scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Back you beast! Oh, shnikes, yeah, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. Oh my god. They caught me off guard there. And it's nighttime. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get out of here, boss. On the bright side, the town looks pretty at night, doesn't it? Woo, did I hit him? Oh my god, I hate these things. <laughs> that skeleton made Johnny mad. Thank you, Johnny. Oh, I somehow did get that guy over here. That's crazy. Oh my god, he's summoning more of the little flying guys after me. Oh my god, run, 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 run. We gotta eat some more! Run, 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 run! Oh my god, are they still chasing me? Oh my god. Whew. We got time to eat, we got time to eat. Oh my god! Oh, this is not good. Oh my god! Oh my god, we have one heart left. Oh! I'm not scared, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fine. Oh yeah, we're just gonna drink our little potion here. I forgot we had that. We got him! Um... Still gotta take care of his little minions though. You better not blow up my totem. You better not blow up my totem. This is turning into a regular old poop show. Did I pick that up? Cool. Okay. Woo! And that was it. We got the hero of the village buff. That's awesome. That that was a fun raid actually. We had some close calls, but now we're loaded up with totem of dyings, and we got a bunch of emeralds too. Heck yes. All right, I also want to make my first netherite tool and in this box I have the perfect specimen. Look at this pickaxe. Isn't it perfect? Woo wee! Let's go ahead and grab it, put it in the little tool bench here, and we'll put our netherite brick in there. Oh, look at it. Oh my goodness, that's the right one. Yep, yep. And there we go. Our first netherite tool and hopefully next episode I'll have full netherite armor. I'm gonna be looking sexy. Now that was an action-packed episode. If you haven't already watched my bee guide, please go check it out. A lot of love went into that video and you might learn something you never knew about Minecraft bees. But thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and for more guides and let's plays just like this one, please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Peace. I got to show you something.
Let's take a peek in here. Oh yeah. Other side. This is actually the rarest music disc. So I got pick step, then other side right in a row. This this world has some amazing luck. 